Hi, so this is question four on the GCSE Mathematics proof series of practice questions. This particular type of question is quite common. You're going to come across this um, quite often in GCSE Maths. OK, so it's asking us to prove that this particular uh, series of uh, expressions here is a multiple of eight. Well, I'm going to work out those expressions and see what happens. And then hopefully we should be able to get it to show that it is a multiple of eight. So the first thing is, is that so I'm going to work out 2n plus 3 squared, which is this term here. So 2n plus 3 times 2n plus 3. OK, and then the next little bit is this here. So I'm going to make that minus. Now, you've got to be very, very careful with these types of questions because of the minus sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside a big square bracket to remind myself that I'm dealing with um, a minus sign that is going to affect some of the terms inside this bracket when we expand them out. OK, so the first side here is fine. I can do that. That's going to be 4n squared and that's going to be plus 6n plus 6n plus 9. And then I've got minus and again, I'm going to put in a big square bracket. It just makes it a bit easier for me. And I've got 4n squared minus 6n, minus 6n, plus 9. OK, now this is the bit where you've got to be very careful because we're going to remove this square bracket and that's going to have an effect on the minus here and the minus here and the plus here. So let's just uh, clear, clear that up a little bit. So I've got 4n squared plus 12n plus 9 minus 4n squared minus 12n plus 9. OK, right, let's remove that bracket. So if I just move the paper up a little bit here. OK, there we go. So we've got now um, 4n squared plus 12n plus 9. OK, so the first one is fairly straightforward. We've got minus 4n, so that's minus 4n squared. And then the next one we've got minus a minus, so that's going to be a plus. So it's going to become plus 12n. And just be really careful, that's the bit that's going to make the difference to you on this question. And then we've got minus times a plus, we've got a minus 9. And then it's really just a case of tidying this up. And what you'll find is, is that these terms will cancel themselves out. So we've got 4n squared minus 4n squared, I'm going to cancel out. I've also got plus 9 and minus 9, and that's going to cancel itself out. The last thing I've got is plus 12n and plus 12n there, so that's going to be 24 n. OK, well, 24 n, if I factorise that into something like 8 times 3 n, OK, that shows that it is a multiple of 8. And that would answer the question. Um, I hope that's OK for you. They are a little bit tricky. Please do have a look at the post on the website and you'll be able to download all of the answers and uh, work through them at your own pace. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.